You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, GH fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your two-week General Hospital spoilers running from Monday, April 15th, all the way through Friday, April 26th. And that second week encompasses two days of May sweeps. They kick off actually in late April. So this coming week is going to be all big build up towards sweeps and then everything explodes the following week. I've got a lot to talk about with Jason and Sunny, the big wedding, health crises, lawyer and legal matters. I'm excited to tell you all about it. If you have not subscribed, please reach down and click that button and now let's jump right in with Monday, April 15th. Gregory, father of the groom, chats with Lois, mother of the bride, and she is ready to help with whatever he needs. And of course, his health is spiraling. He's supposed to officiate this wedding. We'll see how it goes. The wedding is happening in sweeps. Brooklyn Quartermain runs over to the deception disaster at Home and Heart and tries to get Maxie not to give up yet. She's so frustrated with Lucy. And of course, Lucy is blowing this Home and Heart thing terribly. John Kate stops by to see Anna Devane, and she is stunned to see his battered face and wants to know what happened. And just as Jason and Carly assume that Sonny might have had this done to him, John Cates might assume the same thing. And of course, that'll be interesting because Anna has already warned Sonny to watch his step. And if he had the FBI agent beaten, that is not watching his step. Ava tells some more lies to Nina, giving her some BS about how she's making progress with Sonny on her behalf when nothing could be further from the truth. Sonny has a meeting with Drew who I'm sure will not say, oh, by the way, I've, you know, been banging your wife under my desk. And Tracy Quartermain is happy to find out that Gregory is dateless for the wedding because she does have a little crush on him. And then she threatens Cody that she's going to toss him out on his ear if he screws up something. And I wonder if he's advocating for Sasha to get a job working for the Q's so she can stay at the stables with him, which would be very, very cute. Tuesday, April 16th, we've got Finn and Alexis support Supporting each other. He's got all this stress about his dad and his declining health. Alexis is kind of freaking out about whether she'll get her law license back. She's worried about whether the stress will send her back to the bottle. So we may see them at an AA meeting. Brooklyn Quartermain and her fiance Chase talk about money matters. And of course, he wants to be the man. He wants to be, you know, providing for her. But she is an heiress and she has a lot of assets. But she is going to bear in mind what her granny. Tracy told her about men being proud and what a good guy he is and to show him a lot of grace. Trina wants to know from Dex and Joss, what's the status of their relationship? You know, Joss broke up with him, but then he is working on becoming a cop because he wants to be somebody who can be with her. So I'm very interested to see what they say. And it's nice to see Trina. Anna and Laura realize something. And Elizabeth Elizabeth talks to Gregory and they open up to each other. Wednesday, April 17th, Dex is in training to be a PCPD cop. We've got Chase and some other people putting him through his paces. Cyrus talks to Anna on the record. So he's giving some sort of evidence about someone. It might be about Sonny, because if Anna believes John, which she probably will, that Sonny had him beaten, you know, maybe Cyrus knows something. So I don't know if Cyrus is giving info on Sonny, on Pikeman or something else, but I'm always excited to see Cyrus around. Lois talks to Sonny and wonders if he is coming to her daughter's wedding. And Carly and Jagger keep getting closer. Meanwhile, Ava is hiding some something big from Sunny. Thursday, April 18th, Jason gives Carly the Metro court back, her half of it. And I'm interested to see her reaction. I mean, I think it's different where people are offering to loan her the money to buy it versus him just buying it. So she doesn't want him to waste his money and she definitely doesn't want Nina to have it back. So I do think she is going to take it. Brooklyn Quartermain has a serious talk with her mom on Thursday and Nina and Drew are arguing 
again, I expect more hate sex. I've seen some look ahead spoilers about their relationship and this weird vibe they have and some shenanigans these two get up together that look pretty exciting. Jocelyn goes to see Anna Devane and begs her about something. I'm sure it's about please keep Dex safe. I'm so worried Sonny's going to kill him, which is a valid, valid concern because that same day Sonny finds out Dex is in training to be a PCPD cop and he is probably going to lose it and it doesn't help that he is improperly medicated right now and spiraling. Friday, April 19th, Sam lays down the law and tells Jason he cannot see Danny. Now, right now, Jason looks like he's going legit. He's doing coffee stuff, but he still is under Jagger's thumb. So I don't know if he can keep his nose clean. Nina finds out something. I wonder if it's something about Ava and Sonny. That would be interesting. Drew chats with Willow, and I'm wondering if he is going to advocate for Nina, his new bed buddy or office desk sex buddy, however you want to call it. And Sonny and Carly have a nasty, nasty argument. He is slinging barbs at her, and it's not going to be pretty. And Lois talks to Maxie, and Maxie is very impressed with how much Lois knows about deception. I just wonder, since she She's sticking around if she's going to wind up with a job there. All right. In the second week, April 22nd through 26th, we have two days of May sweep starting on Thursday, the 25th and going into Friday, the 26th. Big storylines, Sunny Spiral, Nina and Drew, Jagger and Carly, Brooklyn Quartermain and Chase's wedding and more. Gregory's health, all that good stuff. Alexis's law license. This is all culminating during sweeps. Ava is treading very carefully, trying to keep her secrets, which is her interest in Sunny and she is going to get the chance to get her claws into him deeper and Sonny's loved ones are concerned about her still living under his roof and their weird relationship plus Sonny's behavior continues to spiral out of control. Christina has some complicated feelings as her pregnancy progresses and so does TJ Ashford. Jagger is in a dilemma when it comes to Carly. I mean he's using her as leverage to make Jason do things for him but he's starting to feel a little spark with Carly and so he's conflicted. There are going to continue to be sparks between them and also Drew and Nina that following week. We also have some news for sweeps. Now this isn't going to manifest the week of April 22nd but I want to mention it because it's exciting news. GH has cast actor George Russo to play Carmine Cirillo who is Lois's dad, BLQ's grandpa and he's going to be around for her wedding. So although they haven't confirmed it I take this as a sign that we're going to get Ellen Travolta back as well as BLQ's grandma because it seems like Carmine wouldn't come without her. Anna is determined to protect Dex and take down Pikeman, so she's got her hands full, especially since she's starting to figure out that Valentine may be the culprit that she is chasing. More sparks for Cody and Sasha as their slow burn continues, and I expect some magic between these two at BLQ and Chase's wedding. And a little more on Heather's possible conviction revisitation. I wonder if she might be Alexis's first case as a reestablished lawyer. We'll see how it goes. Drop your comments on what you are excited to see. Please subscribe if you haven't. Definitely come back soon because we are talking General Hospital here seven days a week. And as always, I'm your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 